Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing sandwiches from your history. And as I said sandwiches, we're doing a twofer. Jason Rosenberg ate, bugged the heck out of me to make this one. And it's uh, peanut butter, radishes, and garlic powder. And Cuckoo Wani uh, wanted me to try radishes and butter. Now here's the thing. I'm not a big radish fan. Uh, it just has this weird taste to me. It doesn't really work with my palate. I like the bite of it. Um, but I've learned as I've gone through the years that you try things again and you never know, you might like it. So uh, here goes something. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Jason Rosenberg's uh, version. We put down peanut butter and then radishes and give it a dusting of garlic powder. And for Kuku Wahini's version, butter. And then we lay down radishes. So I'm gonna start with the Kuku Wahini one. Let's give this radish and butter sandwich a go. It's not bad. Next up, Jason Rosenberg ate peanut butter, radishes, and garlic powder. Mm. That is surprisingly not bad. That's actually pretty good. You do have a little bit of a bite from the radish. You get the crunch from the radish and the freshness. And you have peanut butter and then you have the savory element with the garlic powder. That's surprisingly good. I'm not really well versed with radishes because they have never liked them before and this may have changed my mind on them. <laughs> um, if I had had cilantro and chicken, might go in a more of like a banh mi sort of direction with the peanut butter one. Butter and radish version, probably put a little salt on there. I think the butter and the radishes uh, are good. I think it's a good tea sandwich. I'm gonna give it a six. The peanut butter, garlic, powder, radish sandwich might also be a tea sandwich, I don't know, but I'm gonna give that a seven. That is actually pretty good. I might finish that, <laughs> which is weird. I've never liked radishes. The more you know. All right, see you next time. Oh.